Welcome everybody to another edition of SNN's Friday Football Fever brought to you by Sarasota Orthopedic Associates. Now we're into the state semifinals with a state championship berth on the line and just one team left standing, the Venice Indians. The Indians took on St. Thomas Aquinas in a rematch of last year's state finals. But the Indians were at home this year. Different ball game when you're playing in your own stadium. First drive for the Indians. Zach Sesser tries a 34-yard field goal, but it's blocked. And Jaden Davis going to take it the other way. A 10-point swing. Three minus three for the Venice Indians and seven for the Raiders of St. Thomas Aquinas. But they're up 7 nothing. Next drive, the Indians defense shows a little metal, toughness. Kayla Smith and Riley Preacher on the play. That would, well, that would keep the Raiders to just a field goal, a 43-yard field goal attempt. And Alex McCourt buries it. The left-footed kicker nailed it. So it was 10-0 St. Thomas Aquinas. And the Indians then, their offense started to go. Fourth down, the second fourth down of the drive. Bryce Carpenter going to hand off to Mr. Gregory, Brandon Gregory, who gets the second first down on a fourth down play. Then they go to the end zone after one pass interference play. This one's picked off by Trinell Troutman of St. Thomas Aquinas, but he had pass interference before, so it's negated. Halfway to the goal line, and this time Carpenter takes it all the way to the goal line. 10-7. Venice was still trailing, though. Still in the first half, second quarter now. And St. Thomas Aquinas with the ball, that's Elijah Moore, their wide receiver who's going to Georgia. Derek Wingo might be looking for him. He's scrambling. He can't find anybody. The defense is holding him up, and then he airs it out on the run. 50 yards to Tavares Kelly in the end zone, who makes the catch with a defender draped all over him. It's 17-7 Raiders at the half. Second half, the Indians get rolling now. The old connection, the old standby. Carpenter to Javon Hiley all season long. They do it again for a first down. The, ooh, a little business down there. With Javon when he's trying to get up, then the two connect for the touchdown, and it's 17-14. St. Thomas Aquinas still leading. The Raiders and Wingo try to go deep for their great receivers, but Noah Lay is Johnny on the spot with the interception, getting the crowd back into it. And once they get going, that crowd is cray-cray. Look at that. Yes, sirree. They had the big moan. Carpenter taking it in for the 20 to 17 Venice lead, their first of the game. They lead by three. And again, their defense has to stand on its head, and it bears down as Tyrone Barber making that number 55 of Venice stand up like those of his predecessors at 55. Now, Carpenter breaks one off. Gets good yardage on the keeper. They can't bring him down. They finally do it to one, but his helmet comes off. So what that means in high school, you got to go out for a play. He sits out, no problem. B. Greg, Brandon Gregory, takes it to the hizzy from the Wildcat formation. And he also taken the Venice Indians to the state finals on the heels of a 20 to 7, 27 to 20 comeback bonanza. It's just crazy plays like that that you know you don't plan for or anything, but uh, you know, it just happened. You just got to overcome it. It was just an unbelievable feeling. Going to the ship. <laughs> Going to the ship. We got to get it done next week, but we're going to enjoy this one first. You know, heck of a job by the defense. Heck of a job by, by Bryce and, and this offensive line block. And offensive line took over the game in the second half and um, did an unbelievable job. Um, and it's been a it's been a long road and a long time coming for this. And, uh, those, those kids just bought in, and um, you know we got one more step. You know we're not we're not satisfied yet. We got one more step to, to complete the deal. Uh all right, a phenomenal comeback for the Indians and our own Lyndon Blake and Ben Bobick were at the game tonight and they have more from Powell Davis Stadium. Lyndon, Ben? Don, Venice slayed the beast and they're going to the championship and let me tell you the energy here is crazy tonight. Ben, this is what they've been waiting for ever since Peacock took over as head coach. I'm still kind of just like wrapping around my head that it actually happened because you know a lot of this game seemed that it was going St. Thomas's way and they were kind of just playing around with them in a sense but like Coach said, you know, you just keep chipping away. You have a bad play, you come back, you have a good play. You know, you, you just chip, chip away. That's all they did. They just ran the ball. It seems like they wore out the Raiders. It was three and a half yards because that's all you need. Three and a half yards, two yards, three and a half yards, and they just chip, chip, chip away all the way to Orlando. All the way to Orlando, and we will be there next Saturday. We
we cannot wait to watch this game. Looks like they're going to be taking on Bartram Trail. They defeated Plan, and they were the underdogs in that game, too. So this will be a very big game in Orlando. Yeah, no, I think and you have to give credit to the Indians' defense. That's what really was key tonight. That defensive line was penetrating in the backfield. They were getting in that young quarterback's face. Like we said, we you know he really hasn't been tested yet. We got tested today, and he kind of, they kind of got punched in the mouth there. Tyrone Barber had an exceptional game, an absolutely exceptional game. He was playing both sides of the football. I just credit to everybody on that football team. They really, they really came together. The entire city did, and now look where they're at. We're back to the state final. Back to the state final. Don, we'll send it back to you. Excellent. Thanks, Ben and Lyndon. And uh, they will play Bartram Trail, who beat Tampa Plant tonight. So the final game, 3 o'clock next Saturday in Orlando, Venice, against Bartram Trail. So I want to say thanks to everybody. Thanks to Sarasota Orthopedic Associates for uh, sponsoring us tonight. And also, all season long, the Joey D Chicago Style Eateries, who have fed the staff this great crew. We've had a great crew all season long. We appreciate you staying with us. Next week, we go to a Saturday version of Friday Football Fever here at SNN. Go Indians!